Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Andrew, it was definitely fall this morning. We had a cool, crisp chilly air, but nothing yes. too bad, really. I, I'm kind of enjoying it. No, it's pretty seasonable for this time of year, being in the 30s and 40s, just kind of the reality of where we are getting into fall, for sure, mid-October. And what we have this weekend is a lot of clouds, cool temperatures, a little cooler than average for those daytime highs. But we're staying mostly dry, especially today, and there can be some peaks of sun, especially if you're to the north today. So it shapes up pretty nice for any outdoor plans. If you want to go out hiking, check out any of that lingering foliage. So the plan today, we see highs in the mid 50s. Again, a little cooler than average, just a light breeze out of the northwest and we keep lots of clouds around throughout the day. But the weekend planner we do have today as the pick as we're mostly dry besides just an isolated sprinkle. But really tomorrow we're cloudy and cool. Temperatures only in the upper 40s to low 50s for many of us for those highs and we turn a little bit breezy and a better chance for showers, especially late in the day. We're looking at the evening time frame for a few showers coming in out of the north for your Sunday. Checking in though on the foliage, most locations are past peak, especially the higher elevations of the Adirondack and Green Mountains into the White Mountains as well. So zooming in here across northern New York, if you're in the St. Lawrence Valley, still seeing some peak color for Potsdam and Messina, but a a lot of the Adirondack Park, Saranac Lake towards Scroon, Whiteface, Mount Marcy, all past peak at this point. Into the Champlain Valley, Alberg, Plattsburgh, Burlington, and south from there. Again, we have lost a lot of leaves, but any leaves that are still on the trees are pretty much at the peak conditions at this point. The Northeast Kingdom into central Vermont, especially the higher elevations, all pushing past peak at this point. And then checking in here on southern Vermont, the upper valley still has a little ways to go, but pretty much peak color towards the southern Green Mountains and then some of the summits especially are pushing past peak at this point. So that's a little check in of the fall foliage as we're in mid October. Storm Tracker though does have an area of high pressure across the northeast. So that's deflecting a lot of these showers here uh, that's are currently across the Midwest and that system will work east throughout the weekend. But this high pressure will block it and keep it for the most part to our south. And then this other area of low pressure kind of backs in slowly the next couple days. So it keeps the chance of a sprinkle around today and tomorrow and perhaps a few showers by tomorrow evening. Storm tracker though right now this morning it's a mostly cloudy scene but we're all dry again. A lot of the rain deflected to our south so the northern edge is in the Albany area and temperatures again off to a cool start. Many of us in the 40s to around 50 degrees, 50 in Burlington, 44 for St. J and some upper 30s showing up towards the Connecticut River Valley. So the plan moving forward today, again, it's a mostly cloudy sky. There will be some glimpses of sun, most likely in northern areas moving forward. Clouds will persist a little tougher to the south, but we're mostly dry. Can't rule out just an isolated sprinkle the rest of today. And then the plan for your Sunday, pretty much overcast from start to finish. Uh, again, the chance of an isolated sprinkle through the day, but especially tomorrow evening, there's some light showers that shift in from north to south, but they'll be pretty nuisance and minimal in terms of any impacts. And then for your Monday to start the work week, one more day with the clouds and perhaps an isolated sprinkle, cool temperatures as well. But we really start to see improvement as we move forward throughout this upcoming work week. So here's a look at the 10 day forecast. Again, lots of clouds, cool temperatures this weekend, but many dry hours if you wanna enjoy any of those outdoor plans. The best chance for a few showers comes in tomorrow evening. And then for Monday, again, cloudy and cool. But as we look ahead towards Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we mix in more sun. Temperature is rebounding into the low and mid 60s later this week as well. And then we start to cool down and see more showers towards next weekend.